The views and opinions expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect those of the advertisers, owners, or management of Pacific Telestations, LLC. For comments, opinions, and questions, please email Jess Lujan at jessthebuzz at gmail.com. The Buzz with Jess Luhan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Luhan. Welcome to episode two in studio tonight. I have, of course, Sabina Paris and uh, Kelly Mars Taitno from Protehi Latekton. Uh, last week, we were, of course, talking about uh, not just uh, Pagat, but Latekton as well, and the, the, uh, the situation that, that we're in, the situation that, that we're facing. Uh, uh, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to reverse that uh, somehow uh, because of the destruction to, uh, again, the culture and what is there, basically, uh, you know, the species that, that, that are there. But this week I, I want to focus on, you know, some of the studies, even some of the uh, SEIS uh, and what is mentioned there. And they basically um, had said, I mean, in, in their findings that this place is more is really, dis I mean, what would happen over there can be really destructive to, to the cultural and the existence of, of what is there at this point. Please, e ladies. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so I think part of what we need to think mm -hmm. about when we hear statements like that is, you know, maybe it's easy to say, well, it's someplace kind of far away. I don't get there on a, uh, on a regular basis. But to think about our ecosystem as mm -hmm. a whole, like we're much more than just the, the coconut trees, which, mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. know, that and the beaches we all love, mm -hmm. our beautiful sunsets, mm -hmm. but we're much more than that. Like the ecosystem has to be thought of in that bigger mm -hmm. picture. And we need to understand that those species, we may not see them as often mm -hmm. anymore because they are, they're native, they, mm -hmm. may own, they may be specific to us and only found here in the world, mm -hmm. but because they are threatened in many ways, they are precious and few. And we need to think about the fact that they're part of the ecosystem. The Mariana fruit mm -hmm. bat, it, it seeds the forest for us. Maybe, maybe that's mm -hmm. part of why, Sabina can chime in here, maybe that's more of uh, why we see more Tongan Tongan nowadays mm -hmm. is because the snake and other impacts have lessened our numbers of Mariana fruit bat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we need to remember that they're an important part of the ecosystem and they're worth protecting. Mm -hmm. They have roles to play mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in our systems. Yeah, so uh, uh, ecologically, uh, you know, if you look at the biological opinion, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it talks about um, at least 11 species that mm -hmm. may be impacted with the firing range alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when we're talking about the cantonment and as well as the live firing training range, we're talking about the destruction of over a thousand uh, acres of pristine limestone forest. Mm -hmm. And the stuff you cannot, you can't not replace once mm -hmm. you destroy it. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, that uh, that there um, there's important species there. That's why there had to be a biological opinion mm -hmm. um, because there's endangered and threatened species there. Um, some of which mm -hmm. I have not seen. Many mm -hmm. of these species I have not seen, and they may be extinct in my lifetime. Now, no, maybe so. I, I'm, I'm trying to understand this, and, and as a as former lawmaker, I mean, isn't there something that we can do? I think there is. There's something we can do to designate areas as sacred, sacred grounds, okay? Um, you know, like for, for example, I just, I just can't imagine if like the pyramids that you, you would devastate that to, to put maybe a runway or something like that. I just, th there's no way that's gonna happen, right? I mean, it's designated not just historical, but you know, culturally. I, I, and so, and we don't, I mean, we have a couple of areas, there, a few areas here in Guam that are like that. I can't, I can't fathom that that we cannot. Uh, I mean, uh, that our leaders cannot designate areas that hey, look, there's there to to view and 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 to go and visit, but nothing else can can happen over there. Yeah. You, you you can't. There's you cannot destruct it in any way, shape, shape or form. Right. You got you got to leave it. Yeah. So it does. You don't have to look too far to find <laughs> positive examples on how sure. to do this. If you look at the Federated States of Micronesia, mm -hmm. they have a, a system in place where they have to see if a, a project is culturally sensitive, is environmentally sensitive, before they even engage the, the, 
the developers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it works, it works for both parties because mm -hmm. um, the, the island is protected or the, the community is protected, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. resources are protected, and at the same time, the developers don't lose money mm -hmm. uh, trying to fight um, you know, any, whatever sure, legal sure. battle may come mm -hmm. out of it. So um, I think that's, you know, it's a, that's a very wise thing to do as far as sure. you know, creating laws that, sure. that engage, that look at social as well as ecological sure, impact sure. before we even yeah. start putting money into investing. Mm -hmm before these companies even start investing money sure. into the, the place. Well, and, and I definitely agree that we can put additional layers, but you know, I remember this one comment that somebody said, and they said, well, you know, uh, Northwest Field, and actually it has a traditional name. Is it Tailo or Tailalo? Ta Tailalo, yeah. Tailalo. So my grandfather and my mom lived in that area during World War II. They, that was a very good farming area. Um, Tailalo means without flies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so. and, and so, you know, he didn't realize as a community member, he said, mm -hmm. well, why don't we, uh, some similar to what you're, you're talking mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. why don't we put aside a few environmental areas sure. and say those won't be touched? And, and so it was an opportunity to remind him that's exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what that area is. Sure. It's, a, it's a refuge area, it's a conservation area. So the original families that were there, they took very good mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. of the land. The ones that are still there nearby, they're still taking good care of the mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. And then with that refuge, it's been decades and millions of mm -hmm, dollars mm -hmm. being put into there precisely because it is an environmentally and archaeologically um, special place, and it is one of those few areas mm -hmm, set aside. Sure, sure. And so um, it, it's, like I said, a refuge, it's a conservation area, and um, those sites are on our Guam register. Mm -hmm. They are eligible, which means it gets the exact same protection as a nationally recognized site. They, the many of the sites mm -hmm. there, are recognized as eligible to the national register. So we already have several layers there, and yet, the military has still looked us in the eye as a community. And I, I just can't seem to find my, you know national registry places that that are nationally registered, and you have <laughs> just around here. <laughs> I mean, and, and you can hear a. Uh, um, hand grenades going off and, and, and you know, and just... I, well, I certainly, just, let's say the yeah. USS Arizona. Sure. I mean, from what sure. I understand, the military itself has this zone of reduced noise around mm -hmm. it sure. because it's, it's realizing that this is a cultural and a historical site. There are dead that are there that they want to sure. pay respects to. Sure. So the military chose to make this accessible. The military chose mm -hmm. to have this reduced noise and yet somehow they're, mm -hmm. they're telling our community that the exact opposite sure. is good for us. So, so let's fast forward because <clears throat> there was a, a contract that just awarded to a construction company here to go on with the development of uh, the fire range uh, over there. Uh, so are we, is it too late? Are we uh, a, 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 no. a day We're late, a dollar, a dollar short? Um, no, there's still things that we can do, okay. um, and uh, we're definitely working all our um, within the system. We're working within the system mm -hmm, as much mm -hmm. as possible. Um, we are we have a meeting set up with uh, Rear Admiral Chatfield uh, mm -hmm, next mm -hmm. week, mm -hmm. and so we're very eager to talk about um, you know the commitment that mm -hmm. the military has made to Guam as far as being uh, mm -hmm. having a green approach, a one Guam, green Guam, culturally mm -hmm. sensitive approach, mm -hmm. and how. The firing range in, in one of our most sensitive sites mm -hmm. definitely does not follow that principle. So we're, mm -hmm. we're eager to speak with her uh, as far as you know what what can be done. Now, now have, have you? And I'm, I'm going to go back to this contract that was just awarded, and I, I want to go back to to how it was written. Have 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 you got a copy of the contract and how it was written? Oh, because we're I, working on yeah, that. Yeah, because I, I, I just yet. wanted to see whether whether or not. Um, they, there was inclusive that we cannot back out <laughs> of this contract mm -hmm. or it will cost the, the federal government you know, millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's always some kind of provision in, in some contracts of that because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm afraid that that contract will, re, will have a clause of yeah. such, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I would imagine it has a sure. clause like that. Yeah. And this is, I mean, partly looking at the, uh, the reality that NMI has filed a lawsuit, mm -hmm. and that lawsuit sure. hasn't even been heard mm -hmm. in court yet. Mm -hmm. So to commit themselves overly to mm -hmm. anything that's going on here when they know that the mm -hmm. day in court hasn't even occurred, mm -hmm. that judge might have a ruling that's, that mm -hmm. uh, says that they have to go mm -hmm. back to the drawing table in many, mm -hmm. uh, many aspects. So I, I would imagine that 
they put in some ways to uh, to work. Now with let that. me let me ask this again because when when you hear military folks that um, that um, that speak about this and the contract being awarded and even even our, our, our delegate, um, a lot of what they're saying is that these have all been addressed. They've all been addressed. And so these basically, would, you know, in short, they're basically saying these are moot issues. Like these have all been addressed. You're just rehashing something that is already has already been addressed and that's taken care of. I mean, and that's yeah. why we're. Putting